interesting. Nice and quiet, just like in hunting. Use your eye. The deer will come out and keep your feet still. I'm hearing noise, I'm hearing the chains making noise, I'm hearing feet crunching the leaves, whatever, real quiet. So I tell you guys to be brave and to try things because nowadays nobody wants to eat anything except chicken nuggets and french fries. So what you want to do is expand your knowledge, try different things. Even if you might not like it, you don't know it until you try it. Having said that, this is cherry juice. How bad can cherries be, right? The only thing that I would say is that Native Americans didn't have sugar. So it's probably not going to be as sweet as something that you might drink. It might be a little bit different, but it's okay. It's not going. I'm not going to give you anything that's going to hurt you. So when I say drink it, pour it in your mouth, swish it around, and swallow it. It's two, three. Cheers. Drink. Mm. It tastes like nothing. It, just, it, it tastes, tastes amazing. It tastes, it it tastes like, like bitter cherry juice. Oh, I love it. it. Tastes yeah. good. Oh, nothing. Oh, and nice. and nice. these cherries. These cherries are a little bit bitter when you yeah. do eat them. They're not super sweet cherries. Like nothing. And you cannot eat the seeds. So if you ever try it, don't eat the seeds. You're going to pass out. Fall forward. Don't fall backwards on the concrete, okay? Just I'm joking. kidding. You're not, I'm messing with you. Nobody's going to feel this. All right. Listen. When you drink it, hold it in your mouth for a second and then swallow it. It's the aftertaste that you can usually pick pick up on, okay? Go. Cheers. 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 Good Lord, they're yeah. watching their mamas. That's so scary. That's so scary. Yeah, it's like wood. Jesus, like, this like wood. Oh my God. It's wood. It's wood, but it looks like Same time. Now, Native Americans would take these leaves off. They would dry them out crush them up into a powder, and add it to the foods that they were cooking. It would kind of give it a little spice. It would also thicken the, the juices up that was around it. You can go to the store right now and buy this powder. It's called filet powder. So if you've ever had filet gumbo, that's what we're talking about. A little different type of leaf you may have had in your spaghetti or gumbo the whole leaf. That's a bay leaf. Yep. Mm -hmm. We passed a bay tree earlier. So we wouldn't know about this if Native Americans had not passed that on down to us. I'm going to ask you what it is. Don't drink it. Just tell me what you think it is on the count of three. Ready? One, two, three. Root beer! Root beer! Sassafras tea. I hear, a, sometimes I hear some different things. You know what I hear sometimes? is mouthwash or peppermint. Now, but 95% of the time, everybody says root beer. All right, so listen. Don't drink it yet. Just listen. What's the first word in root beer? Root. Root. So root beer was made from the roots of the sassafras tree. It's no longer done that way anymore. That's all fake. This is not root beer that you're about to drink. It is sassafras tea. So it's not going to be root beer. If you wait for the aftertaste, you'll taste it. You'll get a little hint of. Drink it. Hold it in your mouth. Get a flavor. Taste it in your mouth. Root beer? Do you taste root beer? Wait, wait, no. You don't taste root beer? I taste root beer. I taste root beer. I don't taste root beer at all. 